everybody and welcome back to the vlog and welcome to our Saturday. I thought today's vlog would be fun just to kind of do like a day in the life of like just hanging around the house, getting things done, recipes. So I'm going to be doing crock pot chili tonight for dinner. We have not had chili in probably over a year and it's like the perfect season for that now. It's actually a little drizzly outside, cloudy. So I thought we'd make some homemade chili today. Do some baked potatoes on the side tonight. So I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to make that chili. And then we'll see how it turns out tonight. This is actually my first time trying this actual recipe. I usually do a little bit different. But this sounds so good. So I'm excited to try that tonight. Also, I'm going to be making some kind of dessert today. I can't decide if I want to do no baked cookies or if I want to do apple crisp. I'm not sure which one yet. Tomorrow is church, so I've just got some laundry to get done. I On Saturday nights, I usually lay out everybody's um, clothes for the next morning, just so that our morning goes a lot smoother. Everybody gets their baths tonight instead of in the morning, except Josh and myself, we take ours in the morning. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would take y'all around today, kind of a day in the life of a homemaker, and all the things that I have to get done today. Josh and some of the girls are outside. Josh is working on the girls' playhouse today. He's working on getting that put up, as long as the rain kind of holds off. And then Emily got invited to a birthday party, so her friend just picked her up, well her mom and her friend just picked her up. They're headed to a corn maze today, so she is going to be there having fun. That's Everly. Let me go let her in. Yes ma'am, come on in. Come on in. So we bought the Paw Patrol movie last night for a Friday night, and y'all, these little kids are wanting to watch it over and over. They already watched it one time this morning. Everly just came in and wants to play it again. Okay, so I've got my skillet out and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil in there. Go ahead and get that nice and hot. I like to brush my olive oil around like that just so I know that the whole pan is coated and I'm not missing any spots, so sometimes I do that. And now I'm gonna add some chopped onion. I don't remember the exact measurement for the onion. I will have this recipe linked below with exact measurements I did not have any garlic cloves, so I just used some garlic powder, which was honestly still just as good. Now I'm going to take my sauteed onion and add it to the bottom of the crock pot. <laughs> you probably hear little baby sounds in the background. I've got Miss Millie up here with me. Uh, but you're just going to add that to the crock pot, and I think I only sauteed them maybe four minutes. Now to that same skillet, I'm gonna add my ground beef. You're just gonna cook that until it's completely browned. Drain it. I actually left about a tablespoon of um, grease in there just to give the chili a little bit more flavor. And then you're going to add all of that ground beef into your crock pot on top of the onion. And then two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. I actually didn't have the same brand. One of them's great value. One of them was Rotel, which is totally fine. It doesn't really matter. And then three cans of a tomato sauce. I actually did not have three cans. So I just used one can of that tomato sauce and then um, one cup of water. And then you're going to go in with half a cup of beef broth. Chili powder, it called for two tablespoons, but I only used one tablespoon so that I wouldn't make it too spicy, um, and it was actually perfect. And then you're gonna go with ground cumin. I'm thinking this was a one teaspoon. Like I said, I'll have exact measurements in the description box down below for you. Next, I am going in with paprika. and then a teaspoon of sugar. It was either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Now I'm just gonna mix all those ingredients together. Put the lid on and then you're gonna cook, cook it on high for five to six hours. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this washer started. So I get some towels washed. I usually like to start off with towels because it's the easiest load and sometimes I'll throw pajamas in there with towels. Sometime today, Josh or I, uh, one, is going to have to go to the grocery store and get some more laundry detergent. 
some milk just a few things i haven't been grocery shopping since last saturday and today's saturday so and start and there we go i was just telling josh how i needed to get her some more clothes this is size zero to three months and this girl is outgrowing them she's just getting so long like she is getting so tall and a little bit chubby or so yeah she's just now turned two months old and she'll be three months october the 28th and she's already needing her some three to six months clothes instead of zero to three she's growing fast but josh just ran to the dollar store real quick i needed diapers for everly and laundry detergent but i'm getting hungry i'm thinking about getting a quick snack oh and i'm not going to do a dessert today i just well i am doing a dessert but i'm not going to do like the apple crisp or the no bake cookies like i thought i was going to do i'm just going to i have some pumpkin spice cookies in the fridge that i've had in there for a little while so i'm just going to cook those up tonight after we get done eating dinner now it's time to go ahead and put the potatoes on this usually takes about an hour and 15 minutes or so okay so while the potatoes are cooking and i have a few free minutes i usually head to the little kids closets and start picking out their dresses for the next day that way i can go ahead and have them laid out so here I am in Natalie and Everly's closet and Millie's and I picked that dress out for Natalie and I'm just hanging it on the lower rack so I can just get to it easily in the morning and that's for little Miss Millie in the morning and there is a dress for Everly so this just makes things so much easier and now I am in Amy and Bethany's closet and here I have a couple of Holly's dresses as well she um, her room is in the basement but she has some dresses up there as well and i realized there were some dresses on their shelves so i just took a few minutes to go ahead and get those hung up amy came in the room and was talking to me so i was asking her what dress she wanted to wear in the morning And then after that, I just went to their dresser drawers and went ahead and laid out their pajamas for after they got out of the bath that night. That also makes things a lot easier. And no, our dressers are not very organized, but that's okay. We have little kids in and out of them all of the time. another load of laundry is done i think i was able to get around four loads done today which is pretty nice so i'm just going to go ahead and fold all of those up real quick now i am just kind of checking on the chili because it is pretty much done and it is dinner time by this point i want to say this was some of the best chili that we had ever had it was so good josh loved it he wants me to stick to that exact same recipe and i had some with my baked potato i mixed it together a little bit and on my word so good and now i'm just going to go ahead and fix those pumpkin cookies for dessert And now it is time for some after dinner chores. By this point, the kids were finished up with their chores and they had headed outside for some outside time. Josh took a few minutes to wipe the doors down for me, which I was very thankful for. They needed it while I was vacuuming. And then it doesn't take long with all hands working. The kitchen was clean, the dining room, and the living room was all picked up. And Josh headed back outside just for a few minutes to work on that playhouse, which is turning out really nice. I'm so excited to see it completed soon. And now it is time for Millie's bath. So I'm just warming the water up for her. She has gotten to where she really does not like bath time. She's happy that she's out now. All right, y'all, I think that's gonna be a wrap for this Saturday, day in the life, kind of a homemaker's routine of getting things ready 
for Sunday on a Saturday. The only things I think I didn't show is laying out their shoes and their socks and giving the other kids their bath. I've still got to make sure the diaper bag is completely packed. So I hope y'all enjoyed this style vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye. Thanks for watching y'all and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave.